Okay, so what we're going to do today is, go, is called combination cooking. It isn't because um, we're cooking the chicken separately and cooking the sauce separately, no. It's because we're going to use two cooking methods today, right? The first cooking method is sauté, but we're going to use the sauté just to brown the chicken, right? So I've got my oven on, a little bit of oil, we don't want too much oil in there, a little bit, yeah. right? Remember, we're going to use we're going to use the same pans to make the sauce. Yeah. So do not rush. Right. There is no hurry. If we only achieve the sauté chicken today and we run out of time and we do the curry, no problem. I don't need rushing around. Just take your time. Brown the chicken. And then once that's done, we'll move on and do the sauce, right? So we're going to we're going, we're going to we're going to use the same pan to make the sauce. So I've got my chicken here that's already marinated. I'm just going to put it in the frying pan and brown it off, right? The, the, the pan should be hot and the chicken should be sizzling. So let me just let, let the oil heat up a little bit more. Once I've browned both sides of the chicken. I'm then going to put it onto a tray and I'm going to stick it into the oven, right? That will ensure that the heat goes through the middle, right, at a reasonable time. It will take after that about 10-15 minutes to cook. So then I can continue while making the curry sauce, yeah? This is one way of making a chicken curry. It's not the traditional way. The traditional way, as I said before, is to boil it in a stock and you can thicken it with potatoes. But this is a, a no, more modern way, yeah? Right. Where, where you, where you sauté the chicken, it's already curried, and then you make the sauce and you add the sauce to the sauté chicken, yeah? So, here we go. Right, I'm putting it in skin side down, the thighs, the skin side, I'll turn it down. When you're sautéing um, meat, especially steak, you never overload the pan. Because what will happen is, rather than it fries, it will start to boil. So you hear that sizzling there now. What I want it to do, quickly brown, golden brown. When you are sautéing, concentrate on what you're doing. Do not walk away from the pan, yeah? You've got plenty of time to that. Once it's in the oven, you can do what you like after that. Your hands are free, yeah? Once it goes into the oven, right, remember the clock is your friend. So I'm looking at the clock, and whatever time I put it in the oven, I count 15 minutes from then, and it should be ready. 10 minutes maybe, but definitely 15 minutes, yeah? Because of the size of the, chi the, of the chicken pieces, and the time, and the oven is preheated. The oven is preheated, I've got this one here, at 270, right? And I'm gonna put it in the, in the, on the middle shelf. If you put it on the top shelf, it's very, very high. It, the heat, the higher the heat rises, doesn't it? Yeah? But I'm gonna put it in the middle shelf, that way I know that I can concentrate on something else. All right? Give it, give it, give it, give it a bit of time. Remember that um, chicken also has its own oil. So you might find that as the chicken is cooking, the fat content in the frying pan increases, yeah? So don't put too much oil in there. You might find that the little bit you put in there is enough to cook all of your chicken. One of the reasons why we stick it into the hot pan is because it seals in the flavour. So once the, fa the flavour is locked in, you get a better flavour chicken. The reason why I, I, I put it in the oven at a high temperature is because if you put it at a lower temperature, it will cook the chicken, take a bit longer, but it will dry out all the moisture. 
yeah? So we'll have a, a nice chicken full of flavour and also succulent, nice and juicy. And I'm saying to you, this is a, a new twist on a chicken curry. This is not the traditional method of making a chicken curry. But I just wanted to introduce you to a, a simple dish, one that you'd recognize, and the cooking method, which is saute. Yeah? That's more important. The cooking method is more important than the dish we're making. Making sense? Yeah. yeah? I'm not cooking it in the pan. I'm just wanting to, to brown it in the pan so that um, it has a nice even colour when it comes out of the oven. When it comes out of the oven, yeah. it must be very important. It must be in it. So once again, I'm showing you skin side down. And I'm just browning the chicken. It's sort of been seasoned so it should taste nice. Once that's done, then I'm gonna stick it into the oven, 15 minutes. Yeah. Okay, resuming. Right, okay. So I've got uh, about 10 grams of oil, approximately. I can add my seasoning, the curry powder, a oh, little yeah. bit of mirepoix, some carrots, onions and leeks. Right. Just going to spin it around a little bit. What is supposed to happen now? What's supposed to happen now is that cooks down slowly. Whilst that's cooking down, my chicken goes in the oven and it comes out at 22. Do I need to? Yeah. I'll stick it at the top if you're right. If you're right. No, put it in the middle point. Do what you said. Right, so chicken's in the, in the oven. Right. Chicken away, chicken away. Right. Um, I can add my flour. I think about 25, but I think about it. If I need more, I'll add more. But I don't think I need it. Approximately 25 grams of the flour. Now what we're making is what is called a roux, mm -hmm. right? So the oil will soak up the flour, and then I'm going to start to add just a little bit of water at a time. My the thing that I miss is missing from here is what? Well, what brings up the flavour of curry? Spice. Huh? Spice. It, it is a... It does? It's, 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 it's a vegetable. How is it? Uh, chilli. The chilli is vegetable. Chilli, yeah, but the, the food is missing. Garlic. 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 It lifts up the, the, the flavour of a good rich sauce, yeah? So, if I, if I put garlic in here... Uh, I don't think garlic. Look at that freezer, you'll see a big tub of garlic paste. Mad. Right? Now, it's better to use fresh garlic, but it's a tub, it's in a tub. Right, and bring the spoon that you were using. Thanking you so much. Yeah, bring me a spoon. There we go. Crushed garlic, here's some I crushed earlier. Thanking you so much. Not in the camera. Only, only one handsome pencil is allowed, sorry to say. I know. Don't get jealous. The garlic. Right, so. What I'm going to do now, you can see how thick it is, yeah? yeah. 
So yeah. what I'm going to do, I add the rest of the, 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 the stock slowly, because I want to incorporate it all in. I want it just a little bit thinner than that, but I do want it thick. All right. Now, it's a bit watery at the moment. But I'm going to bring it to the boil, put all the rest of the stock in there, and just let it tick over so the vegetables cook. And believe me, by the time that chicken is cooked, that sauce is ready. And then we'll move on to the rice. Okay? Okay. Very okay. So, I'm going to add the rest of the stock to that. Now, leave it. Let that boil. Come to the boil. Let it simmer. And leave it until it starts to thicken again. And once it thickens, straight off the, the vegetables and leave the stock. Then we're going to add uh, the finishing touches. Um, to enrich the, the flavour of this curry, I'm going to add a little bit of coconut milk. Mm. It will add a je ne sais quoi. Yeah? Je ne sais quoi right there. So, 